Hi, this is Rodney Walker with Education Today. I'm here with Steve Wilson from South Carolina. He was one of the honorees of the superintendents that was awarded. And I want to let him tell you a little bit more about the award that he received as well as some of the things that are taking place in his school district. Hi, Steve. Thank you. I'm Steve Wilson. I'm superintendent of schools of Calhoun County Public Schools in St. Matthew, South Carolina. Uh, I was awarded the uh, State Superintendent of the Year earlier in the year, and uh, you're obviously very surprised and elated. Uh, but I think it was because they recognized some of the things that we're doing in the school district. Uh, we're a small school district of 2,500 students, uh, but we've done a lot of things. We've put uh, Chromebooks in every student's hand, and uh, that's gone over very well. Uh, for the last three years, uh, our school district has been re has been rated as excellent on the state report card, and so I'm fortunate in that I have a tremendous staff of excellent administrators and teachers, and so nobody wins this award by themselves, and so I want to give all the claim for this award to my staff and those teachers back in the school district. That's excellent. So you have a great team that's doing some great things together. What are the innovative things are you guys doing that have helped you guys to stand out from the crowd? Well, I think one of the latest innovative thing I think we've done is putting those Chromebooks in the students' hands, and they love them. And, of course, uh, we gave staff development to all of our teachers prior to putting those Chromebooks in the students' hands because, as you probably know, kids are not afraid of them. And some of them are miles ahead of us old fogies in terms of the technology. But uh, our teachers have bought in. Uh, and so once they felt comfortable with those Chromebooks, we gave them to the students. And now they've just taken off. So it's just been great. That's great. What do you see as some of the challenges that school districts are facing these days and maybe some of the things that we may be able to do to support our schools better? Well, I think now there's, uh, I don't know, a lot of criticism, if you will, of public schools. And somehow or another, we've got to change that trend. And, and I think the way to do it is to make sure that you're uh, giving a quality product back to the community. And I think that will do it. Uh, you know, now you have charters and home schools and virtual schools. So you have a lot of uh, competition, if you will. So if we're going to uh, keep public education at the forefront, then we've got to do those excellent jobs in the systems to make sure that our kids are quality once they leave us. Got it. So you say those systems are going to be important to continue the development to make them strong. No doubt about it. Must do that. Got yeah. it. A lot of times school superintendents don't get the credit they, they need and sometimes also they get a lot of the challenge right kind of lumped on them and what can our schools and our districts and in our, our communities do to come and really undergird and support our superintendents a little bit better well the thing that, that we say to uh, all of our staff is get involved and and make sure that out there you are supporting public education in whatever way you feel like doing that uh, as a superintendent, I tell you, if you got an ego, you better throw it away. Uh, and really, I don't know if there's any place for that. But what I say is let's do the best job that we can do wherever we are, and, and we'll always be a viable, a viable system in whatever community you're in. That's great. Thank you for your time. Congratulations again on that honor. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you.